welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos my channel is about information and today i'll be sharing an information on how you can apply for a child care provider job or for a nanny job or for a home support worker job from outside of canada and for inside of from yeah from inside of canada especially for those who come in as visitors with the intention of looking for a job. There are several websites that you can actually put in your application and those websites, some of them are agencies and those agencies recruit nannies from outside of Canada for families in Canada. Then there are families who also do the recruitment themselves. They just go to a particular website to advertise for what they are looking for and then you can apply to them directly you can apply to these families directly and if they get in touch with you they will interview you and if they like you they will then um apply for an lmia and if the lmia is successful you will use that lmia to apply for a work permit for yourself and your spouse and then you can come to canada as a child care provider or as a home support worker so I'll be doing a tutorial of the video where families go to um, advertise themselves looking for childcare providers or looking for home support workers. I'll do a tutorial on that. But before I start the tutorial, I would um, list out the requirements and, and also mention that it's very important to pay attention to the details of the advert. So many families... Um, have their own specific requirements on who they want as a home child care provider and uh, or as a home support worker they have this specific requirement so i'll be talking about the requirements and number one is requirement to speak english if you can speak english then you are good to go to apply for a home child care provider um, some of them require that you live with them and in the adverts they'll put live in meaning you have to live with them and then for some families they'll say live out meaning you have to get your own accommodation some of the job adverts also indicates that you should have a valid first aid and cpr so if you have a valid first aid and cpr then you can also apply and then another requirement is child abuse and adult abuse um, criminal record check so some of these families put in all these requirements for you to see so that if you have this requirement you can apply if you don't have the requirements you shouldn't bother applying some families they don't put in those details on the advert um, child care is in the vulnerable sector and it's very important that they know who they are employing they don't want a situation where they employ and then their child will be subjected to any form of abuse so that's why they put in all these requirements and if the child is special needs as well they also require that you have um, experience in or you have a certification in first aid and cpr but that should not also discourage you that this requirement is for you to look at the job advert critically before you send in your application some families they don't even bother about putting all these requirements at all they just want you to apply and when they get in touch with you they'll discuss these things further then finally what you should be looking out for which is the most important thing especially for those who are outside of canada looking for this opportunity what you should be looking out for in the job advert is um, words like willing to sponsor or words like LMIA available. When you see words like that, it means that the family is willing to process the LMIA and then with which you can apply for a work permit and come to Canada with your family. If you just, you know, send in a random application without looking at the details of the job advert, they might not get in touch with you but if you look at the details of your job advert and they are specific in saying that they are willing to sponsor you it means you can apply this is where people who are outside of canada should take advantage of this opportunity to search out for this kind of jobs where the families are willing to sponsor or willing to provide an lmia some of them already have lmia and they just look for, looking for somebody that they can bring into canada to work for them immediately so um i'll be talking about lmia in a separate video but today i just want to focus on how you can search for a child caregiver job or for a home support worker job and i'll be showing you the tutorial um in some few minutes so the first 
website to search for a home child care provider job is the canadiannanny.ca this is the website canadiannanny.ca and then you can register by clicking on get started you put in your email address put in your phone number and then you can just sign up to see the jobs that are available but if you don't want to sign up you can also click on this get a nanny job once you click on get a nanny job you will see the number of jobs that are available and you can see that 5963 families are actually looking for nannies some of them have restrictions like i mentioned earlier where they will say we want somebody who is already in canada while some of them do not um, have restrictions they are willing to sponsor people who are child care providers even if you are outside of canada they will be willing to sponsor you and some of them also put in the amount that they will pay you while some will say pay negotiable like what you see here you see pay negotiable and then on this one the family is saying they will pay 12 dollar per hour 12 dollars per hour that's what they will pay so on the left side of the screen you will see some of the requirements with which you can use to filter what you want so like i mentioned earlier you need to pay attention to the job adverts some of them will require that you have training or you have certifications in first aid you have a cpr certificate or a babysitter certificate or if you're a registered nurse so if you're a registered nurse outside of canada you also you can click on this and then search for opportunities for registered nurses if you're a personal support worker or you have experience in early childhood education food safe midwife you pay attention to all these details especially the ones that suits your need suits your qualifications and experience and then for some of them they require transportation i think for the transportation aspect of it is for people who are already living in canada but it doesn't stop you you can have your international driver's license with which you can um, actually work with it with in canada for some months and then write the exams and pass the road test some of them require work eligibility please pay attention to this so the work eligibility like i mentioned you will see some of the job adverts saying eligible to work and then some of them saying willing to sponsor like if you see this one willing to sponsor has 710 adverts 710 families are looking for people who they can sponsor so you should for people outside of canada please take note of this willing to sponsor and send in your applications i'll be giving an example um one example which is this um yes this example is this is a family they are looking for a part-time or a full-time live in nanny for an 18 months old and the family they are based in ajax ontario they are willing to pay 14 dollars per hour and this is the details of what they are requesting for so this family they are willing to sponsor anybody and this is an opportunity for people who come into canada as visitors if you want if your intention to is to come to canada as a visitor to look for a job this is an opportunity that you can use and apply um and then you just click on apply now send in your applications and then um, just stay positive and they might even call you for an interview and you get the job and they'll be the one to process your lmia and process your work permit for you so this is one opportunity i'll go back to the search criteria again of willing to sponsor this particular advert is looking for a full-time caregiver but it's restrictive and they are saying they are looking for someone who just arrived from hong kong singapore or the philippines so they are specific on who they want and with the details stated must be new to canada please pay attention to this they are also saying please do not apply if you already have open permit or have already worked in canada for 24 months please do not apply if you are not living near toronto so this is what i refer to paying attention to the 
to the details of the job advert. If you pay attention to the details of the job advert, you'll be able to screen out what you should apply for and what you should not apply for. Then this is the third example. The third example is this family looking for a reliable home child care provider in Hamilton, Ontario. You can look at the details. They are not looking for anybody who is within Canada, so anybody can apply. And you just send a message. This is if for you to apply. This is where you click to send a message and just click apply now. But first of all, you have to register here and then search for them. Come here and apply. And um, keep your fingers crossed. And you could be lucky. You could get a job of a living caregiver and come to Canada with a work permit um, for you, your for yourself, and for your family. And from there, after 24 months, you can then apply for the permanent resident status. Thank you so much for watching. So I encourage you to share this video to anybody that you know that needs this opportunity. If you know anybody, please do not restrict this information. Share it to people who need it. You may never know who you are helping by just sharing this information to them. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.